your faith is lacking, then you want to say, Lord, help my unbelief. Help me in the area where my faith is wavering. I'm confessing to you that it's a struggle right now. That's what the man said to the little boy. He was saying, you know, it's been going on for so long and so many things have been tried and it didn't have, it didn't work. And now, even when I brought it to the disciples, it doesn't look like it's, they didn't know what to do. And so now my faith is a little low, but I'm not giving up. God help my unbelief, amen? So we're gonna go to our daddy and we're going to trust and believe, amen, that he's going to work all things out, amen. Yes. My friend here, she wants special prayer, if possible. She would like to pass it to one of us Sure, amen. Won't you come on down, sweetie? Amen. <clears throat> amen. And if there's someone else that wants special prayer, amen, we never deny it. Amen. 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 I just got a text message from Brother Rick Owens and asked the pastor to pray for him. So Amen. Thank continue you. Continue to lift him up in prayer. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord. Amen. And right now we want we know the only one thing that can separate us from the Lord, and that is our sin. But you know what? If we confess our sin, He's faithful and just. Amen. 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 To forgive us Amen. and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So take a moment and say, Lord, if I have offended you in any way, if there's anything I said, done, or even thought that would hinder this prayer, I ask the Lord that you will remove it in the name of Jesus and help me to go in sin no more. Amen. We thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And as pastor is going to be praying individually for them, we're going to pray collectively. Amen? Amen. Search me, O oh Lord, and know my heart. Yes. Try me yes. and know my thoughts. Yes. See if there be any wicked ways yes. within me. Yes. And lead me into yes. the path of everlasting. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning, oh God, realizing, oh God, that we have this privilege through the finished work of Jesus Christ, who gave his very life for us, oh God, who rose, oh God, up from the dead with all power in his hands, oh Lord. So God, we thank you this morning as we come and assemble ourselves together in this, oh God, your holy sanctuary. We're asking, oh God, that you hear every request that's being made, whether it's spoken verbally, oh God, or simply in the hearts and in the minds of your people, oh God. We know, oh God, there may be some things that people feel is just too personal to say out loud or somebody else might hear. But, oh God, assure them that you know and that you care. God, we ask, oh God, that every heaviness that is upon the people, oh God, that are either here or listening, will be lifted, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're asking, oh God, that the people will realize that the healing is the children's bread. Oh God, and that you, oh God, said by Jesus' stripes we are healed. You also said you sent your word and the word healed. So we thank you, oh God, for your healing power, your healing virtue this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, you said those who stayed their mind on you, oh God, that you would keep them in perfect peace. So God, we're asking even where the enemy wants to be attacking our thinking, oh God. We ask, oh God, that you would bless, oh God, that you would give us clear thoughts, oh God. That, oh Lord, that your voice would be louder than that of the enemy. Trying to speak to us, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for those things, oh God. Lord, we're asking, oh God, that you would be with those, oh God, who are having issues, oh God, when it comes to their finances. Oh God, we know, oh God, that you are a God. A more than enough. 
Lord, you said the cattle on the hills, oh God, belong to you, oh God. And Lord, we know, oh God, that you're rich in everything that we need, oh God. So Lord, we thank you for that. Then Lord, we know that there are some, oh God, oh Lord, that are not free, oh God, in terms of their location, oh God. Some, oh God, are incarcerated, God. We ask, oh God, that you visit the jail cells, the prison cells, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And oh Lord, we ask, oh God, that you do a great work in there, oh God. It's there that sometimes it's where people hear your voice, oh God, and you get their attention, oh God. But you said, how can they hear unless there is a preacher? And how can they preach unless they be sent? So God, we ask that you send, oh God, laborers, oh God, to preach that word in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, we thank you for that in Jesus' name, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for those who have had emotional hurt, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, that you would heal them, oh God, of whatever it is, oh God, that they're going through. Lord, those who are having housing situations, God, Lord, we know, oh God, that you're more than able, oh God, to fix those things. Lord, where there are relationship hurts, oh God, amongst family members, oh God, we ask, oh God, that you would restore, oh God, and that you would heal. And, oh God, that you will call families back to unity, to love on each other, oh God, to make allowances for one another's faults, realizing none of us are perfect, oh God. In the name of Jesus, family is the first institution, oh God, that you made. Oh God, so we ask, oh God, oh Lord, that you would strengthen family and family ties in the name of Jesus. But Lord, above all, oh God, we ask, oh God, for a spiritual restoration, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that we have a desire for you like never before. Like we, Lord, will be like that deer panting by the water, oh God, wanting to drink, oh God, that our appetite, oh God, that we'll be hungry for you, God, that we'll want more of you, God, oh Lord, that you really will take first place in our life, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that we'll desire, oh God, that personal encounter with you, oh God. Lord, we ask, oh God, for these things. And then, Lord, you said that sometimes we don't know what we ought to pray for. But you said, oh God, that the Spirit will make intercession for us. You said, oh God, that you even understand the moans and the groans of your children. So, God, anything we neglected to ask, we ask that the Holy Spirit will make intercession for us, oh God. And that it will be done according to thy will. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We thank God. Amen. We missed you, but we thank God that you're away doing great things at college. Amen. Amen. It's good to see you in the house. You know what you got to do after service. I need that hug. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I told them no matter how old they get, they'll always be my baby. Amen. I remember the time when um, he looked up at me. And now I gotta look up at him. Amen. At least just that tall. So we thank God. I did mention that we are having Holy Communion next Sunday, which also means that we're having prayer service on this Saturday, December the fourth. Amen. Amen. At nine a.m. So please try to make your way to the house. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to be ministered to in song again, and then after that, we're going to hear the voice of the shepherd of this house. Amen. amen. None other than our very own, amen. God sent God anointed pastor, amen. Amen, Pastor Linwood Grimms. God bless you.
เริ่มนะเ
You know, it won't meant for you to go down to Clinton no, 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 and the key. No, no, because somebody needed to hear that. See, somebody sitting in the house today needed to hear that. I've been telling them for years, you need to learn how to lay hands on themselves and have faith in trust because you can't get to people all the time. You can't get to the hospital all the time, but you can get to yourself. We thank God. Thank God. Thank God for the young lady with the sister Owens. We declare and we decree healed. This day. We declare and we decree a healed. Not in Pastor Grant, but in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We just thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mom. Thank God. Glad to see you and Brother Haskin Cousin. That's your cousin. Friend. All right. Thank God for friend. Amen. Amen. Thank God for all of you. Amen. Because you know one thing? Look to your right and look to your left. You didn't have to be here. You could have been at Punk, you could have been at Stewart, you could have been anywhere else. But God allowed us to be here. That's why we are the place. And we can't go anywhere. Amen. I thank God. So many now, because of Thanksgiving, but that's okay. We thank God. We got to be with us in the Lord. Amen. We bless the Lord. I give honor to my Heavenly Father. I've been here in my life. The love of my soul who directs my mind, who guides me. Yes. And to the pool of tears on the poor pit in the front row, we just thank God for you, the ones in the, in the pews, if you may be any. Amen. I thank God for you. And most of all, I thank God for the cloud of witnesses that sit here witnessing the world. chapter of the book of Luke, and I'm going to read from the 11th verse down to the 16th. I'm not going to read 17, but it's the last verse. The book of Luke, the 7th chapter, 11th How many got those weapons now? <laughs> this is the living word of God. I can be I can be what he said I can be. I can be what he said I can be. Because I stand on his promise. Give him some praise in your own way. Uh, we can be what he says we can be. 
Amen. 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 It says, soon afterwards, Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. Mm -hmm. Ah, I want you to underline, went along with him. As he approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a large crowd from the town was with her. I want you to underline that. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her. And he said, don't cry. Underline that. Then he went out and touched the coffin. And those currently stood still. And he said, young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. All right, all right. They were all filled with awe and praised God. A great prophet had appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. This news about Jesus spread throughout all of Judea and the surrounding country. Mm. I like that 16th verse said, they were all filled with awe. Come on now. And praise God. Amen. A great prophet had appeared among us, they said, and God has come to help his people. That's the end of the reading with God's word at this moment. There's much more to come with the permission of the Holy Spirit. I want to talk from the subject do you really know who I am? Oh, wow. Do you really know who I am? Who I am? Come on, man. You know, uh, and, and when God began to deal with me about this message, it carried me back. Uh, I believe in, about, uh, in the name is early part of the 19 names. I bought a burgundy, a maroon Cadillac with a white top. And at that time, I had North Carolina tags on it. But I bought a sign to put in the front of my car. To know me is to love me. To know me is to love me. And I thought about this text here. To know God is to love Him. Amen. Uh, you said you love Him, but you don't know Him. Amen. So how can you really love Him when you don't know Him? Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You know the problem is, you know, it, it's just like in life. People want to get married a year or two years after you meet the person, but you really don't know. You know their name, uh -huh. but you really don't know them. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Because a colored eyes can have things for years. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't want to get this yeah. They can hide things, and, and, and then later on, you find out it's not what it should be. Yeah. Huh. But one thing about it when you need Jesus. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. If I had to recommend anybody in the world, I'd recommend Jesus. Come on, somebody. Let him be your decision maker. Can I get a witness here? Because he can do what no other man or woman can do. Now look at this text here. Uh, this text is a story illustrated mostly about salvation. See, this whole world was dead in sin. 
Now you can find that in Ephesians 2 and 1. Just as the widow's son was dead, uh, 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 was dead, that being dead could do nothing to help ourselves. We all was born in iniquity. Never sitting back there when, uh, back in the garden, even when he messed up. Come on, somebody. We've been in trouble. And you know, when you're in sin sometimes, you can't even help yourself. If I can grab a few of those guys out there, the women in the street, that's all drugs. They don't really know how to help their own selves. That's why we as believers got to share the word of God with them. Regardless how many years you've been on, God can take you on. And every night and day, you got to take a step back and look at yourself. You might not be on drugs, but you will on something else. Sin is sin. But look at God. God had compassion on us. And he sent Jesus to raise us for life. So y'all just miss your key to shout. Let me say that again. Uh, God had compassion on us. In other words, he sent his son, Jesus, uh, to raise us up. So we can have life and have it more abundantly. You can find it in Ephesians 2, 4, and 7. Now, 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 I want you to look at this. The Bible said here, soon after this, Jesus went into a town called Nain. And if you ever look at the map, uh, it's Capernaum. It's up top. And Nain is coming down south. Underneath that, and underneath that is Samaria. Mm -hmm. And then under that is Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he was on his way to uh, Samaria or going home to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. But I know one thing. He said, You stop by name. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Now you look you look at this text, look at this text. It says, uh, his disciples and a large crowd went with him. Uh, now, now, if I can back up for a second, he had just left Capri, where this centurion had just sent word, uh -huh. telling Jesus, uh, 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 look here, he sent something to hell and said, uh, go tell it, one of my, can I uh, tell you like we talked today, one of my main men uh -huh. is sick, uh -huh. and, and, and I want him to heal him. Now, if you look at that text there, I'm not going to bother the, the first part of the sermon too much, but if you look at it, see, Jesus just didn't tear the battle down on the cross. Uh, if you look at it, it started in chapter 7. Right see, the centurion really didn't know God like the Jews did. Uh, right because God, the, the Jesus, always dealt with the Jews. Uh, uh, but it was a centurion uh -huh. sent the elders, the Rome, to, to Jesus to uh -huh. tell him about the Roman man. Uh -huh. Now this Roman man, he even built a temple right. for the Jews. Right. Uh -huh. So he said, look again, this man had to deal a lot for us. All right. Now you got a centurion that really don't know God. The Jews were and always been his people. Yeah. And then you got a Roman man that was sick. Amen. He tore down that petition uh -huh. to get to that Roman man sick. Amen. He tore it down. He tore it down right then. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to Matthew 8 and 5, Matthew 8 and 5 said that the centurion 
went. But Luke said that he sent the elders. But the elders, when they went, it was just like the centurion went. Oh, let me break it down, y'all. Look at that straight. Let me break it down to you. It is just like your boss. Uh, the CEO tell the manager, come on, somebody. You might not see the CEO, the CEO but he tell the managers what to do. That's just like uh, when the managers tell you what to do. That's just like the CEO is standing there speaking for himself. Huh? If the judge give a police a war and said, go get Linwood Grant. When the police come and get me, he coming just like the judge had uh, uh, told him to do. So in order, when I retaliate against the policeman, I'm not only retaliating against the policeman, I'm retaliating against the judge. Because when he go back and said, Linwood Grant, he acted up. Y'all see it? Can you get that picture? Yeah. See, this is the same way was going on here. And, 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 and the centurion told, told Jesus, said, look here. Uh, you don't even have to come to my house. I'm not worried. Uh, do anybody in the house sometimes feel like you're not even worried for him to come to your house? But he had enough faith to say, let's speak the word. Come on, somebody. And when he spoke the word, uh, the Bible said that uh, when the men uh, had been sent and returned back to the house, uh -huh. the man was completely healed. Yeah. Uh, so, so when you speak the word and tell Jesus, look here, I need to, you to do this. Look here, you got to walk by faith. You got to walk by faith because, number one, when you ask him, he might not do it when you want him to do it. But you got to have faith and believe it's going to be done. Come on, somebody. He might not heal you today. You might lay down tonight and tomorrow morning. The pain is gone. Uh, he might not come when you want it. But God knows he all the time. Uh, but look at here. Uh, the Bible said the crowd uh, went along with Jesus. Ha. And as he put, uh, approached the town gate, a dead person was carried out, and the only son of uh, his mother, and she was a widow. Now look at here. Ha. This mother was going through a lot. Now, the Bible said that she was a widow. She had been through this before. Come on, somebody. But this must have been a hurt thing when she lost her, uh, her only her, uh, child. You see, with this child, by being a young man after the dad had died, he was responsible for taking care of mom. Because without him, mom uh, would have not, she would have been penniless. Would have a penny if the uh, 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 family didn't come around and help her out. Come on, somebody. See, 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 that's the way they used to do in the country. When the father died, the eldest son would step in. They used to have to uh, drop out of school to make sure that everything was wrong. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Y'all make this one fool. See, 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 the thing about it is that the eldest son had a responsibility. Uh -huh. mm. But I, I want you to see this. Now, here, a crowd coming with Jesus. And they are rejoicing because a miracle had just happened. Can you see this? You can look at the text. And here, another crowd. More.
together. Uh -huh. One laughing in the crowd. Somebody in the crowd probably said, what's happening here? My God. But the Bible said, come on, Holy Ghost. But the Bible said, Jesus had compassion. Yeah. He looked at her and, and his heart uh, felt sorry for the young lady. Because he knew how she was feeling. I don't know about you, but have you ever had your heart in your hand and was going to give it to somebody? In other words, you share it in your heart and they're going to knock it out your hand because they don't want it. They only want what they can get. You don't pour your heart out. Yeah. But look at Jesus. Yeah. Jesus has some compassion. Yeah. Now, he makes sense out of nonsense. Yeah. He told the lady, he said, don't cry. Uh -huh. This lady has lost everybody she had. Yeah. And what sense does it make to say, don't cry? Come on, come on now. Because when you were lost your only child. Yeah. Tears gonna flow like John and River. Can I get a witness that? But Jesus knew he had something in store for her. Uh, good God from Zion. Uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, that's why he said when we get the glory of the Lord, uh, he gonna wipe all the tears from our eyes. Uh, call somebody. I wish I had somebody help me. Lord have mercy. And the Bible said, look here. Jesus started walking. Lord, and if your Bible might say the battle. But he said that it would carry the coffin. Lord have mercy. And Jesus walked up to the coffin. Lord have mercy. And laid hands on yeah. My Bible said the men stop. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Because when Jesus laid his hands on yeah. you got to stop. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? I'm so glad. I'm so glad. When he laid his hands on your enemies can't do you no know more. I wish I had two witnesses. And I'll make three. Ha. Can I get a witness here? Ha. When you lay his hands on you, ha. and when you anoint you, you can walk through the battle in the shadow of death, ha. and you won't fear no evil. Why? Ha. Because thou art with me, ha. Lord and mercy. Ha. But look at here. Ha. He laid his hand ha. on the cross. And he started to say, ha, look at here. Ha, one thing, young man, ha, what I want to tell you ha, is get up. Ha, Lord have mercy. Get up. Ha, yes. And the Bible said, ha, the young man got up. Ha, oh, my God. So he sat up ha, and began to talk to Jesus. Ha, but the Bible didn't say young man was said, but I don't know ha, what they were talking about, ha, but I can imagine ha, in my Holy Ghost mind, ha, the young man was saying, thank you, ha, thank you, ha, thank you ha, for one more chance, ha, thank you, ha, and learn then, ha, we got to stop ha, and tell God. Yo, we 
Same one. 